Here is a function. f of x is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 3. Now, ordinarily, if I was being asked what is its greatest possible domain, then there are no problem values of x, so x could be any real value. OK, so that would be its domain. So what would its range be? Well, in order to find its range, I need to find, because it's a quadratic, its minimum point, OK, its turning point. So I'm going to use completing the square to do this. So we would write it as x plus 2 squared, take away 4, take away 3. So that would mean that that's its completed square form. So its vertex is at minus 2, minus 7. OK, so its range, so that would be its domain. Its range would be f of x has to be greater than or equal to minus 7. OK, so visually what's happening is that we've got this parabola where um, if I put in an x-axis and a y-axis, there's minus 3, there's x, there's y, and there's my vertex, minus 2, minus 7. OK? So that's its domain, that would be its range. Now, it may well be that actually, now that I know what the graph looks like, I only want a piece of it. So let's say I want to restrict the domain. And restricting the domain just means I'm restricting the values of x that I'm allowing to substitute in. So I could say, well, OK, well, actually, I want the domain to be um, minus 2 is less than or equal to x is less than 5, for example. And then I might want to find out, well, what is the range in this case? So what would this look like? Well, I know what it looks like ordinarily. But now, because I've restricted the domain, it will start at minus 2, minus 7. OK. And then, because that's the turning point, the curve will look something like this and go up to a point where I've got x as 5. Ah, but now, because that's a less than, strictly less than, that should be a hollow dot. OK? That will be a solid dot. That will be a hollow dot. So that would be at minus 2. So that's down at minus 7. So I need to find the y-coordinate that goes with 5. OK, so I would need to substitute 5 into this. So f of 5 okay, is 25 plus 20 take away 3, so 42. So the range for this graph would be from minus 7 up to 42. So minus 7 is included because it's a solid dot, but 42 is not included because it's a hollow dot. OK, and that would be the range of the function with this restricted domain. OK, so in some cases it can be find the end points, OK, and do it that way. You've got to keep an eye out for the stationary points, however, OK, because if I changed this uh, to, let's say, minus 3, OK, now that would mean that the curve wouldn't end there. The curve sits at that point and comes back round. That's where minus 3 would be. Now, minus 3 would be 9, um, take away 12, so minus 3, take away 3, so minus 6. So this point would be minus 6. Be a bit further 
a long, wouldn't it? It's not very accurate, this graph. Let's uh, bring it down slightly. So that'd be minus six, okay? However, because this graph goes down to minus seven and then slightly up to minus six, it still reaches minus seven. So the range would still be minus seven to 42, okay? It still exists at that point at minus seven. So you've got to be a little bit more careful with this when you're identifying uh, the range in question, keeping an eye out for stationary points.